Good morning, everyone. How are you guys today? I hope you're having a wonderful week. Are you ready for a dinosaur story time? I hope you guys can hear me because I know this kind of blocks the sound. So we're going to start off with our normal songs. Be sure and sing loudly and do all of the motions. Let's start off with, I wake up my hands with a clap, 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 all right? All right, here we go. I wake up my hands with a clap, 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 a clap, 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 a clap, clap, clap. I wake up my hands with a clap, 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 and I wiggle my legs away. I wake up my arms with a flap, 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 a flap, 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 a flap, flap, flap. I wake up my arms with a flap, 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 and I wiggle my legs away. I wake up my feet with a stomp, 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 a stomp, 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 a stomp, stomp, stomp. I wake up my feet with a stomp, 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 and I wiggle. Let's try hello, hello. Hello, hello, and what do you know? Hello, hello, and what do you know? Do you know where your eyeballs? Can you guys see my eyeballs? They're really big, aren't they? Okay, let's try another one. Hello, hello. know where their teeth are? Mine are really big today. All right, let's try one more. Hello, hello, and what do you know? Hello, hello, and what do you know? Do you know where your scales? Do any of you guys have scales? I've got some up here. Wow. Yeah. All right, let's see what's my other song. We already did Wake Up My Hands With A Clap, so we're gonna do, we're gonna shake our sh crazies out. So let's try that one. I'm gonna shake, shake, shake our crazies out. Shake, shake, shake our crazies out. Shake, shake, shake our crazies out. Wiggle our wobbles away. We're gonna clap, clap, clap our crazies out. to play the ukulele with this on because I can't see what I'm playing. I just have to feel it. Okay, so the moment you've all been waiting for. Are you ready for some good dinosaur books? Let's start off with Digger Sars Explore. Let me see if I can put Suki on my back. That way she's out of the way. No! Wardrobe malfunction. we go. All right. Diggersaurs Explore. Does anybody know what a Diggersaur is? I guess we'll find out. When work is done, it's time for sun. Diggersaurs are roaring. We might find gold or something old. We love to go exploring. First they see a fallen tree. That stops them in their tracks. You guys keep your eyes open for these two little people. They're on every page, okay? I can crush it. I can push it. Scrape. We don't need an ax. The path is blocked. A pile of rocks. This could ruin the day. I can lift. I can 
and shift. Rumble. We'll soon be on our way. Humps and bumps and grassy clumps. How will they travel through it? You roll, I'll mow, and off we go. I'll flatten it, you chew it. But then, a wall so wide and tall, it looks like they're in trouble. I'll shake it down. I'll break it down. We'll turn it into rubble. What's this? A slope. It's far too steep to climb. I can drill beneath this hill. We'll go through in no time. At last, they reach a sandy beach. Suddenly, a sound. What's that buzz? My tail, because there's metal underground. Come on, let's dig. It's something big. It's something washed ashore. A submarine? I'll sweep it clean. A golden diver soar. And he roars, thanks, digger soars. I've been stuck here for years. I've missed the sea, but now I'm free. Please help me shift my gears. Digger soars, push, with one big whoosh. Diver soars in motion. A splash, a roar, he slides offshore and dives beneath the ocean. We did find gold and something old, the giant diver soar. And in the end, a new found friend for digger soar explorers. The end. That was a fun book. Do you guys ever go searching for treasure? You never know what you might find. All right, let's try another book. This book is called, What Kind of Car Does a T-Rex Drive? Would a T-Rex fit in a car? Not really. They would be way, way, way too big for a car. Hmm. Uncle Otto was having a summer sale. But so far, no one had come to buy his cars. Where are all the customers? Ava asked. Maybe they're all on vacation, Mickey said. Well, I'm not on vacation, Otto said. I will sell a car to anyone or anything that shows up. And that's when a stegosaurus lumbered onto the lot. I'm looking for a car, he said. What do you recommend? Uncle Otto had never sold a car to a dinosaur. He didn't know what to say. Don't worry, Uncle Otto, Ava said. He's a plant eater. Okay, Otto replied, but what kind of car does he want? What about an off-road vehicle? Mickey asked the dinosaur. You can drive deep into the forest to find mosses and ferns to snack on. Perfect, said the Stegosaurus, and he jumped into the car, honked the horn, and drove away. Uncle Otto, look! You guys see what that is? But that just then, a pterodactyl glided down from the sky. Not now, Mickey, Uncle Otto said. I want to sell a car to a... A pterodactyl, Ava whispered. It's too hot to fly, the pterodactyl said. Maybe I need to buy a car. You like the wind and you're a fish eater, Mickey said. How about a convertible? You can drive to the beach 
and glide from the cliffs to the ocean. Good idea, the pterodactyl said. He hopped into his new car and headed for the shore. Uncle Otto, you better look at this. But just then, a triceratops ambled into view. Not now, Mickey, Uncle Otto said. I'm busy selling a car to a triceratops, Ava said. Great horns, Uncle Otto told the dinosaur. I bet you win a lot of arguments. I'm a gentle giant, the triceratops said. Do you have a vehicle that might suit me? <laughs> what about a delivery van, Mickey suggested. The back is empty, and you can get in through the rear doors. You're a dear, the triceratops said. She climbed into the van and waved as she drove away. Um, Uncle Otto, what's the problem, Mickey? Suddenly, there was a loud thump, 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 and a Tyrannosaurus Rex appeared. <laughs> the Stegosaurus and the Pterodactyl and the Triceratops bought cars, the T-Rex said. I want to buy a car, too. Certainly. How about this nice micro car, Uncle Otto suggested. You can park it anywhere. <laughs> Will he fit in there? No. I could never fit inside that, the T-Rex bellowed. Then he squashed the micro car with his powerful legs. I hear you loud and clear, Mr. Rex. What about this family minivan? The T-Rex bared his razor-sharp teeth. Can you really see me driving a minivan? A taxi cab? I'm not taking anyone for a ride. A sport utility vehicle? I don't like sports. Uncle Otto was starting to sweat. Help! He squeaked at Mickey and Ava. The children whispered back and forth. Finally, they turned to the T-Rex. Follow us. We know the perfect car for you. Where are they going? What kind of car do you think it would be good for a T-Rex to drive? A monster truck. The T-Rex loved the humongous wheels. He let out a roar of delight and hit the road. I'm changing the name of the business, Uncle Otto said. Dinosaurs are great customers. Maybe you should hire us to help out, Ava said. That won't be necessary. I'm a dinosaur expert, said Uncle Otto. And he changed the name to Otto's Dino Cars. That's when a really big customer stepped onto the lot. Look, he's way bigger than any of the cars. Way, way bigger. The end. You think Uncle Otto can find a car for that one? Does anybody know what that dinosaur there at the end was called? I'm not good with dinosaurs, so I don't know. But if you do know, comment and let me know. Alrighty, guys. I hope you enjoyed that story time. I will be back next Tuesday at 10 a.m. with another virtual story time. And of course, you guys will love that one. So be sure and come back. And I will see you guys next week. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.